Good afternoon. So, in a complimentary video to my Cobra comparison, I'm doing a Shelby Sunday sort of uh, from Greenlight. I have these two, which I just got, which is the uh, Greenlight 55 year of Shelby. Um, the 2020 Ford Shelby GT350. And this is a 2020 copyright. Uh, I don't know if it's a part of any other greater series. Uh, limited edition. But I guess it's not part of a greater series. So there's the 2020. Here's the original 1965 Shelby Cobra. Uh, I'm sorry, Shelby GT350R. From the same series, I picked these up together on eBay. Uh, and after teasing this one so many times, this Gas Monkey Garage Hollywood uh, Limited Edition Series, the 68 Shelby GT500KR with the 2015 F-150 and a closed car hauler, um, uh, Hollywood Hitch and Toe Series 1, and copyright 2016 um and they have several of these so uh series one is the gas monkey garage um smoky and the bandit two and the blues brothers and i watched gas monkey garage but i love fords and i love shelby's and this is actually one of my favorite cars of all times and I happen to like the way they had this one done up on the TV show so that'll be the last one I open today but I will open all three of these today um, so let's start with the 65 and because I didn't want to struggle with the knife on camera I pre-cut the back I'm going to save those cards and packaging just because I think they look nice. And maybe that's how I will display these particular ones. We'll see. And nice. Let's see. Does the hood open? Oh, yes, it does. Everything's painted silver under there, but it's very nice. Um, no, no paint on the headlights or the turn indicators, but a nice Mustang uh, emblem on the grill and the hood pins and the number. Um, nice rims. Is that Hoosier tires? Um, TNG Motor Racing. Some nice painted details on the back. Number 2194. GL 041. I wonder if this is the same casting as another 65 um, Mustang I have from Greenlight. And I should have prepared for this better. But I will check that later. But this is nice. Um, yeah. So that's pretty cool. And the 2020.
nice. Painted details on the headlights. Uh, nice emblem in the grill. The hood does open. Not very wide, but you can see the engine there. You can see the, see the chassis stiffening bar, also called the Monte Carlo bar there across the strut brace. Nice details. No side mirrors, but that's okay. A lot of them don't. These blackout rims don't show up very well on camera, but in the proper light, they look good. They look authentic. Oh, sorry. And what is that? Number 291. Uh, GL 164. Does that say 164? All right. So that must be the casting number. So that's very cool. Uh, I tell you, I'm, I may open another car, car up in a few minutes just to compare. But this is the set that I've been wanting to open for a while. So I'm going to make some room here. send any of these flying. All right. Oh, hold on. Let's see how this comes out, hopefully with no damage. All right. So yes, I'm gonna tease the Shelby last. We'll start with the trailer. Um, Gas Monkey Garage. opens up. It's got what looks like simulated plywood in there. Uh, nice details with the reflectors. Um, typical white wagon wheels. Um, the Is there any metal here? I, th I think this center section here is metal, but this is plastic. So just between the wheels is metal. Everything else is plastic. Um, this thing is, is very lightweight. You can hear it. But it's nice. And, who, you know, I'm not really in it for the trailers. Um, let's see. I bet this doesn't open. I don't think the, the trucks... But... Nice details. Are they lensed? Nice blue oval. Nice painted details. Love the color. Uh, factory authentic looking rims. Uh, Goodyear tires. F-150. Tailgate does not go down. Looks like it's got Rhino liner. They've got the center high mounted light there, the rear rear mirror. It has silver paint on it. So there's some nice details on that. But then it comes down to the main car. The whole reason to do this video is this uh, 68 GT500 KR. And lensed inserts for the headlights, 
uh, painted fog lights, separate chrome bumper, um, appropriate wheels and tires. You can see that these doors open and I had heard that on another video painted on the mirror the uh, sports bar the convertible top nicely the the uh, sun visors match the interior I had heard that this is a casting done by uh, Carol Shelby collectibles and the doors open and they're not too bad some very nice details lensed tail lights Let's see, 1968 Shelby GT500 KR and green light. Let's see if it has a casting number like traditionally they have. I don't see when there's production information there. Now, this hood should open. Nothing like watching a middle-aged man shake his toy. There we go. Well worth it. And some nice detail in there. I don't know how it shows up on camera. Detailed engine. So, a little skinnier tires than you usually see on a green light, so I have every reason to believe this is really something that, I, obviously, um, the spare tire would have never been mounted on the trunk lid from Shelby or from Ford or anybody else. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be like rally ready or whatever, but I, I love this. I love this car. I love this color. Um, this is a really nice model. And after the, uh, Shelby collectible Cobra that I showed being a disappointment, uh, this, uh, this my spirit, but also, uh, in the comments from yesterday's video on this, um, Chasing Diecast Cars corrected me that this is probably a basic, and so I've tried to locate a better detailed uh, Shelby Collectibles. So I think I'm going to be doing a follow-up on Shelby Collectible um, Diecast. Carol Shelby Collectible Diecast. These are beautiful. Um, not that you would ever... Really want to display the car in the box, but it does fit in there perfectly. And there's your trailer hitch. And I got this at a reasonable price. I do not remember the seller. I got it too many months ago. And I think moving forward, if I get a good deal on eBay on um, one of these, I will, uh, sometimes a seller will send you a business card. And I, I think I will, um, if I'm opening up a new special car, I think I will show that and say, you know what, this seller was good. This seller was outstanding. Uh, because uh, some of them really are. Now, so shorter than yesterday because it's only really three um, three new sets or, or technically four new cars and a trailer. Um, but this is bonus uh, green light Shelby must, uh, Sunday. All right, so th let me know what you think in the comments. Um, 
if anybody is on the fence with these, I hope it tips you over because these really are nice. Um, and if you're if you're looking for the uh, Hitch and Toe series on line and you think it's a little expensive, I hope this tips you over because the details on this are so nice. And it was it was well worth. I I, I think I spent twenty dollars on this Hitch and Toe set. It was not that bad. So leave comments. Let me know what you think. Give me feedback. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be begging for any type of information anybody has on who made this. <laughs> uh, because we're pretty sure it's not Kyosho. Have a good day.